Good evening, everybody. So, uh, I just finished work and, um, I had a message and so I guess this will be like my update video. Like I really want to just give everyone some updates. I'm going over a lot of information, a lot of data and, um, because of my work schedule, I just been so bombarded, but it is so imperative. Tomorrow morning, um, it begins a new gateway. Um, and what I mean by gateway is there are these loopholes that open. Uh, and I'm going to go over the whole month of November's gateways and these, these loopholes, these openings, these times where events will happen and it, it's it's really just for it's good to know to put your positive intentions on those certain days because that's what helped magnify a lot of things um a lot of times people of dark purposes use those dates to do things such as like we already witnessed what happened at the synagogue um last saturday if you did the um calculations of the day that was a um, 28th, correct? And so 8 plus 2, if you were to say 10, 28, 2018, that makes 1, 1, 11. 1 bracket, 1 bracket, 11. So whatever it is that their agenda that they're up to and what they're doing, we have to do the same thing. We have to kind of like counterbalance our light with so the next time that there are incidences that are false flag or massacre we have to try to meditate and do our light work on those days because what's happening is we're pausing and we're getting bombarded by uh the negative frequency that's going on it sounds like a superhero thing that we have to do but it's real <laughs> um Tomorrow is another, uh, it's 11, bracket 1, bracket 11. And so something, <laughs> it just never fails that something will occur tomorrow. Whether it's good or bad or indifferent, of the light, I don't know, of darkness, I don't know. But there are loopholes and gateways, and if we don't do anything, we just sit around, um, nothing magnifies, nothing elevates, our ascension process stays idle. So we really got to get this up and going because time is kind of short before something's going to come up and then we're all in trouble. Um, not to put fear out there. I really wanted to share another part of my studies on uh, Gematria codes. There were a few that some words came back and I was just like, ah! it's just it's too much information to try to figure out uh the science and the truth and then being able to retell it so there's a lot of trying to learn and understand and study things before i say them out loud uh i've been learning from a lot of previous videos that um i i wander off topic and then i kind of put my own theology where there is you know the subject itself. Um, I really wanted to give an update on electromagnetic activity because I don't think anyone is talking about this. But I started questioning why all of a sudden the many different um, airplane crashes. Now I might be stepping on territory of, uh, uh oh, I shouldn't be discussing this, but um, no fear. Uh, I've been trying to question why are there so many plane crashes recently? What is causing these planes to crash all of a sudden? And it's it's altitude, but then why at a certain altitude are these planes coming down? And so I think there is, um, and then someone gave me some data of affirmation today, which I'll go through and I'll share with everybody, but... I think there's like a little bit of electromagnetic activity that's happening above the uh, at, uh, magnetosphere or it's coming down from the stratosphere into Earth because our ozone layer is all, it's all busted. So I think 
if you were to say, and I'll draw a diagram of this tomorrow, I just give an update. But if let's say if there's a, a, a like let's say there's the o, the ozone, right? And my fist is the Earth. Every time that this this hole comes around, and you have this electromagnetic uh, pulses from the atmosphere coming through, you have certain focal points of uh, uh, aircraft that are getting hit by these. Uh, strikes or flashes if you may so i think we're seeing it on the news as airplane crashed um airline failure uh engine failure this and that but they're not they're um they are what people are calling the flashes but the flashes really is electromagnetic activity um i think if you guys can realize when it's windy you don't see static electricity anymore. You don't get shocked anymore when you touch metal. And you're wondering why. It's because all the electromagnetic activity is going up in the atmosphere. And this is why greenhouse gases and geoengineering, they really should stop because what they're doing, all that vapor that they're shooting up into the uh, the sky and all the alleged chem chemtrailing and uh, water vapor uh, factories allegedly it's collecting a lot of electricity and sh sending it up and I don't know if they're aware of this but the last uh, um, lightning storm that we had in Los Angeles it was proof to me that uh, there's an abnormal um, uh, there's an abnormal uh, what am I trying to say there's just a lot of electricity that is up in the stratosphere and when you have electricity and then you have what's coming in a gas a gas planet uh, essentially and then you have our other planets that are surrounding the earth there's going to be a um, interaction with earth which has its own elements there's the gas planet which has its elements and you have this um, unresolved electromagnetic uh, source of energy that's just floating around. So what happens when uh, a, 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 a gas giant comes nearby, we're going to be uh, amplified. You know, um, I don't know if that is part of the ascension process, but you guys should probably start feeling it like your hearts probably are beating a little bit different now. Um, every time when I go home, I'm like, whoa, I feel a little bit weird because my heart, it has a different beat and a different heart rate when I'm at home. And where I live, my apartment has solar panels over. And so I am a little bit cautious, a little bit nervous. Um, my nervous system is a little bit sensitive. So I do feel weird when I'm at home. I'm trying to figure out what to do with my living situation because it, it, it's a little bit too much at times where I'm trying to rest, but I'm feeling the electro pulses from my building because the solar panels have been charged by the sun. I'm a high vibrational being who's in an ascension process, but then we also have unresolved electromagnetic uh, activity. So what happens when the body host so much electrons and photons um i don't know what happens do we explode <laughs> so those are updates i'm going to be uh posting tomorrow i'll try to wake up early in the morning and shoot a couple of theories and i'll uh, leave it up to you guys to really help me figure this out because uh, i really don't have all the answers and resolutions a lot of people go to my channel to get answers but i really would like to have us all work together at trying to figure this out too. So if you guys can leave some comments in, in the uh, comment section and feedback on where I can avenue myself to get more data and information, that would be great. But there's been a lot of uh, airline crashes, a lot of um, activity in the sky. Um, it could be from these uh, um, ships, if you may, allegedly or these aircraft uh, unidentified that are coming in and through and out. Maybe it's a whole different source of energy that we're unaware of. But um, but yeah, I, I, I think that there, we're onto something. There's, there's just, there's
there's absolutely no static. I mean, you guys saw the video when I was at the windstorm. I should have been shocked. There should have been static electricity. It's not on the surface of the earth. It's way up in the stratosphere. So what took all the electricity up? I don't know. Uh, or what is collecting our electricity? I don't know. Alrighty, everybody. I'll let you go. This was my update. Aaron Davis with Words for Wisdom. And I will uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.